My name is Chris Petroff and I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean the head of our new cotton candy machine. The first thing we want to do for safety is make sure that we unplug the machine. This entire spinner head can be disassembled for cleaning without the use of any tools. To remove the top cap, simply push down on the cap and turn it and lift the cap off. Next, lift the spinner cap straight off of the machine. Loosen the center nut and remove it. Lift off the hold down bracket and remove it. Then the entire heat element simply lifts off of the machine. This is the most critical part that needs to be cleaned. To clean the heat element, we're going to want to remove all of this sugar buildup from the inside of the heat element and the outside of the band. The easiest way to do this is to either run it in the sink under hot water, you can use a soft bristled brush if you need to to remove some of that buildup, or you can actually submerge it in a small bowl of hot water. Now make sure that these electrical leads stay up out of the waters. We do not want to get them wet. So you can submerge that band in the hot water. And by doing that, you can see that that hot water loosens all of that sugar buildup and everything that we have that's caked onto that heat element and that band. If there's a lot of sugar buildup on that element, it may take a little while for that hot water to loosen that up. Again, a soft bristled brush can be very useful in removing a lot of this buildup. By keeping our electrical leads out of the water, it assures that we don't have any water or rust problems on the leads themselves. So after we have submerged this in the water and we've gotten as much of the sugar buildup off of there as we possibly can, we'll take that heat element and let it dry on the counter overnight. Now to reassemble the head, the first thing that we will do is install the heat element. On the outside of the stainless steel band, the word top is marked on the stainless steel band, so make sure that that part is facing upwards. Now to reinstall the heat element, we will simply slide it over the machine and make sure that our electrical connections line up with the two terminals. Now it's not uncommon for those wires to be out of shape a little bit after you clean it. So make sure that those connections are on the terminals. Now this hold down bracket has two ears on either side. Those ears go over the electrical connection. So we, when you reinstall that, you make sure that those are tight over the electrical connection. The center nut goes back on and that holds everything down nice and tight. Now you can wiggle that back and forth to make sure that it's lined up in the groove that goes all the way around the perimeter. Next, we will reinstall our spinner cap by sliding it over those four bolts. Then our top cap is reassembled and tightened. 